because if you're putting something into it, you're looking for a return, but you know that if you don't go and you don't do, then you're not looking for anything. You're not expecting anything. You don't expect anything from something that you don't put anything into. So if you want to see this heavenly place, this heavenly church, you've got to put something into it as well. But the difference about the heavenly church and that which we deal with now, Jesus said about his burdens are light and his yoke is easy. Sometimes you say, this, is, this burden ain't light. This yoke isn't easy. See, it's not Jesus. It's not God that makes things hard for us. It's the traditions of men. God says, don't be a respecter of persons. What are we? Respecter of persons. God says, love your neighbors as yourself. Love the Lord thy God with all your heart. So what do we do? We come to church and hate on each other. Oh, look what she got. Oh, she thinks she up. Hey, it's about all foolishness. Oh, look at her. She think her gift is off. She's the only one that can talk to God. Oh. This is what's going on. This is not bringing us any closer to the heavenly sanctuary. This is worldly, is it not? This is carnal. This is still carnal. This is still a carnal church. We should be striving, though, to become a heavenly church. But we've got some work to do. We've got to line up with the sanctuary. The Bible says, until we all come into the unity of the faith. That means that whatever church you go to, it shouldn't be, you know, I don't talk to the Baptist, they don't speak in tongues. I don't talk to this because they, you know, and it's just all of this stuff. That's not unity. How are we all coming into the unity? And so as we are in this, dealing with this physical church, hey, it's what it is. This is what we have. And I believe that God's going to raise up folk that's going to forget about, you know, themselves and status and money and mega church and all of these kinds of things. And, it's go and are going to begin to speak the truth in love as we grow individually then we, that's, what, that's where the unity starts. The unity starts with us. The unity starts with our responsibility to the, our relationships with God. 